Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I literally just turned the camera off and then turned the camera back on so we can get this project done and finished and then I can get you guys the final flip through. So we're going to do the final touches of this Thanksgiving album today. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. Um, this is the page that we were working on yesterday and we still need to map this and we still need an insert here and we're making the closure for this particular page right now. So the last thing that we did was I was fussing around with the edge punch on this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a magnet because we put a magnet inside this page here. I'm going to set it down right there. I don't know if this is going to work. Normally I use double sided tape, but we'll give it a shot. All right, hold that. And uh, yeah, that, that didn't work at all. All right, let's just kind of hold that there for a minute. Yep, that's just coming right on up. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and glue the back of this because we're going to map this back side here. of this little guy. All right, you gonna come off? No, okay. We're just gonna use the double-sided tape because that thing is just hard to know. But at least now I know where to put the tape. So push it down, pick it up. Boop, there you go. Double-sided tape for the win every time. All right, so now that I have my magnet here, I know I want to map this in some way, shape, or form. Um, what I'm thinking is just something very simple and we can make it a little bit more decorative by rounding the corners, okay? And I'm not going to ink this because I didn't ink anything in this or in this album. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I was trying to figure out what I was doing. Because um, I need this guy cut and then this guy cut here. All right, and that should be suffice like that. So we're going to round the corners on that. That there. Grab this guy. I'm just going to do the quarter inch because it's a smaller piece. You could also do um, decorative punches here. I don't know if that's maybe too late to do. I think that might be too late to do. Let's see what I can do on this one. All right, hello. I just threw that at myself. All right, let's see. What does that look like? Um, yeah, no, okay, good. All right, round corners it is. All right, so. I'm going to take this guy here, just like that. And what's great too is this has the grid paper on it, so you can use it for writing space as well. I mean, you'll have to, not you guys, because I'm not selling this, but we'll have to be mindful of the magnet. But yeah, you can definitely still use this. And maybe next year I'll get started a little bit sooner, so I'll be able to make a Thanksgiving album for you guys. 
because I've had a couple of people ask me if I was selling this and I'm like, no, that's why I keep telling you guys in multiple videos. I'm not selling it. It's for my family. But I do have journals on my Etsy shop. I only have a couple left. Um, I have sold a few and I don't make them too, too often, but toy fix. Okay. I want to put something right here. Uh, I was thinking about using one of these beautiful clusters. Uh, that might be a little too big. That's definitely too big. And that's definitely too big too. Okay, so I want to use one of these. That's going to be the best one. But we could flip it here. And then it still has that on the back side. So that whole painstaking process of getting that border punch isn't a complete waste. Uh, this one's kind of small too. And it goes well because it's a fox in the forest. Although these are squirrels. So, um, I like the squirrels better. All right, for this, for this layout. I like them all, man. I'm gonna put this on last because we still need to make a card for this. This is gonna be a four by six photo mat. Um, let's see, where are you? Oh, you must have fallen down. Yeah, you fell down, go boom. Go back up there. Okay, so I don't think I have anything left in my scraps that I can use. I can use that. All right. And then we'll use that there. Oh, I've got some stickers I can use too. All right. Let's see. I like the fox. Give thanks is good. Um, you might be too big. Yep, you're too big. I like the fox. I don't know if the fox is going to be too big, but I really like the fox. All right. So we're going to do that. Um, got to oh, throw my stickers on the floor. That's what I just did. Y'all should see the side of my desk right now. Like every time I have a project that I'm recording for you guys, the side of my desk over here just becomes a giant mess. It's crazy. And then once I'm done with the project, I clean it all up and then I start the new project and then it's a giant mess again. <laughs> so it's just, it just keeps going. All right, let's see if my wolf is going to be too big. And I'm just going to hold it up like this. And it is slightly big, but I think it'll be okay because it's going to come down below this. So let's figure out, I want to use these. I'll go right there. And these are some border stickers from K and Company. I almost said Kaiser Craft, but I don't think it's Kaiser Craft. I'm pretty sure it's K and Company. Uh, they used to be really, really prominent, but I don't know if it's because I just like changed my style or what, but I haven't seen them a whole lot anymore. Did they like go out of business or something? I really hope not, because I love King Company. All right. Um, I really have to figure out this corner punch thing, because I feel like it should be more or less I don't know. I just feel like it should be 
doing something that it's not doing. But anyway, we'll figure that out at another time when I'm not trying to finish this journal in this last video. But there's really not that much left to do. I mean, we have to finish up this page here, make a few inserts, and what's that? All right. So there's that. All right. And again, using the strap. Hey, come off. And this adhesive on this sticker is just fine, but being that we are going to be actively using this, I really want to make sure that it doesn't come up. Okay. All right, come here, sticker. Oh, this one gets poked out. Uh, this sticker collection is from Photo Play, and it's from Autumn Day. Uh, this is an older collection. Uh, like I said at the very beginning of this whole process, um, I was just using stuff out of my stash that fit the theme I was going with. And, yep. All right. All right, do we want you there or there? I think I want you there, but I really like that red, but I like the orange too. All right, let's go here. It's actually not too big. I thought it was gonna be too big for the background piece here. All right, and then uh, there's a couple little pieces that I can add here that I think would be really cute with the wolf. There's an acorn and um, a leaf, I'm not going to guess what kind because I'll probably guess wrong. Um, there we go. And this particular adhesive is really good and the only reason I put glue on my fox is because it was going over top of glitter. But this one, if I try to peel that up, it's going to rip my paper. All right, so there is that, okay. Um, we're gonna glue this whole thing down and I need to get a card for this. And we're gonna make some inserts for our other pockets, these guys here. And then we'll be done be done guys what I know it's so crazy I feel like I've been working on this for weeks uh, mainly because I've been working on this for weeks because <laughs> when did I start this journal we started this in oh my gosh um, the 8th yeah so and today today is actually um, Wednesday. I'm recording ahead a little bit and thankfully I have been able to record ahead a little bit because I needed it this week. Oh my gosh, this week was so This is the first time I've been able to sit down and record all week long. We have been going to so many doctor's appointments and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, it's just, it's for me, it's just a physical. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like I've been going to so many doctor's appointments lately. It's crazy. Um, but it's good. Um, Wayne's doing good. He's, um, they gave him a few extra days for recovery. So he just now went back to work today. Uh, like I said, today is Thursday. He was supposed to go back Tuesday, but they gave him a few extra days. Um, all right. And then this guy here is going to go right there. 
and make sure that everything closes all copacetic. Like, I think I'm going to put glue here instead of on the thingy. Okay. And then I'm going to take him or them rather and lay it down just like that. There we go. Okay. And like I said, I got these specifically for this book because they just match so, so well. Um, Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's do that, figure out where to cut this. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but it's nothing, you know, abnormal or crazy. It's just a physical. Um, and then I think I think we will be all doctored out for a while. I think. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off because it just looks like it's funny. Okay. All right, so we're going to put that right there. I like that. Okay. And we'll get to, <laughs> we'll get to the insert. We got time because it's not going to take very long and they're going to be pretty plain because like I said, I want nice big photo mats where I can put bigger pictures. Oh no, come back. Um, I am putting fabric back on this because it's going to go on across that lace. So I need it to grab. All right. There we go. Get that out. Oh, so cool. And it's going to sit on the shelf like this. Well, not lift it up like that, but uh, let's see. We've got a couple more of these. Um, I really liked this one because the colors match so well. Because like I said, this is going to be on the shelf like this. So... Nope, I don't like that. I like it this way. Nope. I think we're going to stick with that one. And again, I can leave it off for a little bit and see what happens. All right, we're going to leave it off for a little bit and see what happens. All right, so I need the mats for the inserts for these things. So let's tie this up. And this is really... <laughs> quite sturdy uh, because that's how I tie these this thing up every single time I finish a video I yank it up flip it around and tie it down and that's it and it's still like perfect no wear tear pulling nothing um, absolutely love it. so let's find our inserts here and that's going to be on page what? Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. Um, let's 
just double check this and make sure because I feel like that's way too big. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think this is right. Yeah, nope, that's not right. Where is my other insert? Oh, it says B. I didn't do B, did I? What did I do? Which one did I do? I did do B, but that one. Uh, insert landscape 15, portrait 14. Yep, 14 is way too big. I don't like that. So we're going to go with number 20. All right, we're going to go with this one. Come here, you. Yep, just like that. That is perfect. Okay. So let's grab this and we need, we need five of these because we need four for our pages, but then we need a fifth one for that back page that we did. So we need probably three pieces of paper and I'm just using craft cardstock. And I'm going to trace this out. Okay. Like a soap. Probably going to be able to do all three at the same time. So let's do ah tag and my slipper is irritating my ankle. Stop it, tag. Alright, so we're gonna do this one first. Whee! Okay, and then this one. Right there. And there. Okay. And then right down the middle. Okay. Wait. Now we have six inserts. Or actually, yeah, we have six. Um, because we did three papers and um, did two on each paper. So let's take these guys, throw them in our scrap bucket thingamabob over here. This is scraps from yesterday. This is, go back in the folder, what number are you? Number 20. Okay. And that's the great thing about these templates is she gives you suggestions on how to make things like how to make the journals that she makes or the albums rather that she makes on YouTube. But in reality, you can use these templates for so much more. Like you do not have to follow the directions precisely. Your imagination is the I was looking for that other pencil mark, but I don't see it. I guess it was on the one that we took out. Anyway, your imagination is really it as far as that goes. All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, there is a mat for this one. And I believe it's page 30. 
which means I don't have to guess. Um, I mean, it's four by six, but my trimmer, it, you can't actually see the number six. It's really weird. All right, so the four part's fine, but the six part is where I need the help with. All right, so this will be one, just because it's a nice, huge piece of scrap. And then I don't have any huge piece of scrap left, but we can go and find ourselves a nice, plain background paper, like that one. Um, that one's even nice. That one's really nice too. All right, so we will do those two and potentially another one if need be. All right, this will actually be pretty easy. I don't need that after all. Hold that. All right, so this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, right? So we're gonna fold it in half and I'm going to cut along that half mark. And that's going to give me my six. That way I don't have to try to guess. Oh, and this is what I mean. Like, it's not really there. The number is up there, but if you line it up to this edge right here, it's actually more than six. So it, it makes it a little difficult, but you get used to it after a while. I love this trimmer. I would not trade it for anything. All right, so one. Two, three, and this makes four. And I'm going to cut one more of these uh, to put on the back of this one. Okay. Well, it actually cuts them both. But I'm going to use this one for that, put those in the scrap bucket. And then, could even cut the corners here, um, but this, me and this corner puncher don't get along very well. All right, uh, uh, I forgot to cut this. Yep. All right, where are you for? There you are. There's that, and... Where is that? I uh, don't really need that teeny tiny piece, but it's in the scrap bucket anyway. All right. So let's grab one of our cards and I'm going to put some of this stuff away because we don't need all this stuff out. Uh, we don't think we need the pencil out. Maybe the scissors. We'll leave the scissors. All right. So. Put this one here. Okay, and make sure that's going. One, actually, it's not going to matter because the back page is not directional at all. So if it's going the wrong way, you just flip it over. Like if you put it this way, you just flip it over because this is not directional at all. She actually came out with something um, recently. I don't know how new it is, but um, I wasn't on YouTube for a while, so... It's new to me. Anyway, it's um, it's photo mats or something like that. And when you print it out, it's got like faux photo corners, which is kind of interesting. I thought it was really cool. All 
All right. There we go. And then this is going to go back here in here. But we're going to put the brown forward because I think we've got enough of that on this page. So if I can make it go in the pocket, um, I might have to turn this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now go over there. Let's get these guys. And you could do uh, tape as well. Uh, again, I'm not going to because it's just, it's so much easier to try to line this up with wet glue. All right. But yeah, tape will definitely make this whole project a lot faster. Bing. Man, my phone's been going off today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, what have you guys been up to? How you doing? What's happening? How's it hanging? Um, oh, update you. I'm uh, pretty sure I, I might have already told you. I don't know. I get super excited, but I am down 30 pounds. Woo! Um, and still counting. But I have gone from a size 22, guys. I was a size 22. And I'm down to a 16 in two and a half months. So um, that's pretty amazing. I even bought a pair of 15s from Walmart because I'm getting a lot of my clothes right now from Walmart and Goodwill because, well, I'm only able to wear them for a few weeks before I'm growing out of them again. So uh, I'll get like a pair of jeans or capris or something like that because I'm in South Carolina. It doesn't get super duper cold here. Uh, so I'll get jeans or capris or something like that and I'll get a long sleeve shirt and that's it. I'm not going to go out and get a whole bunch of short sleeve shirts or a whole bunch of shorts or anything like that because I have no idea what size I'm going to be when it comes this summer. I never thought I'd see a size 16 on my honey ever in my life again, but here I am crazy. Um, pretty excited. I told my husband, I was like, look, I can see my lap. <laughs> it was just the funniest thing ever. And he's like, you are so silly, but he's really proud of me. I'm really proud of me. I think, which is the most important thing is the fact that I am proud of me. And so, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm definitely digging this whole new philosophy of life that I've got going on here. Um, like, I just, I feel like a happier person. I mean, sure, I'm losing weight, but my mentality is different. And you guys have probably noticed it. Um, well, you guys that have been with me for a long time, despite my long hiatus that I like to take occasionally, Sometimes there's nothing I can do about it. My anxiety gets the better of me and I just, I have to walk away. Um, and it's happened. It's happened before. I'm sure it'll happen again um, because there's nothing I can do about that. That's just a chemical in my head. It's part of who I am, but you guys love me. So I appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, so I'm sure a lot of you have probably noticed a, a, an attitude shift, if you will. Um, I don't know, I just seem like I'm a happier person, I think. I mean, I thought I was happy before, but now I can see that I was happy in certain areas of my life, like my marriage, my family. But there were other parts of 
my life that were very stressful. And I just didn't realize that I had let the stress gets me so much. So, almost done with this. It's amazing how quickly this goes when I'm just sitting here yapping. Because I don't really need to explain this part, I don't think. Because it's literally just taking the paper, pieces of paper that we just cut and gluing them to the other pieces of paper that we cut. And that's it. Sorry, I'm just being goofy. Oh, my mouth is dry. I drank all my tea. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, I literally just turned the camera off and then turned it back on. So, my mouth is parched. I need to get some more liquid. But that's okay, because we're almost done with this. And then this book will be completely finished. I'm going to do a quick... Um, quick video for you guys just to flip through. It's not going to be like, you know, like I normally do. I, I do the flip throughs for the Etsy, but it's just going to be, hey, look, it's finished. All of that that we just went through is all completed and purdied. But yeah, that'll be a separate video completely. Um, that way people that just want to see the finished product that can just go and look at it instead of having to sit through, you know, however many videos. But that'd be cute. I don't know what we do on the back side, but could just put it right there. That way we could use up some of this stuff too. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to try to use up some of this um, sticker stuff that I've got that's kind of like like these border pieces. I have this piece here and I have this piece here and that's it. Like that's it. And I've already used a good bit of this throughout the, the rest of the album so I think it would go well. Now that part right there needs some extra glue. Come here, little part you. I don't know. I moved it. Go back down. There we go. And you could use the art glitter glue too doesn't really matter I don't think all right so that's one and then we can put this one here that'll make two let's see let's see what the art glitter I don't think I've used the art glitter glue really too too much in this book um come here let me borrow you I mean, I've used it a, a handful of places like magnets and such, but I don't know if I've used it too much other than that. Whee. But I do like the art glitter glue because it's got that super duper fine tip and it allows you to get into little tiny nooks and crannies that the fabric tag wouldn't really allow for. And then we've got two here with nothing on them. So what we could do is, let's see, how big are you? Come out. You too big? Nope. I don't know why I'm doing it over there. Oh, look at you. 
You did not turn out right. Um, I have an idea instead of doing this. Alright, so we're going to chop that off and then we're going to make this smaller. That's what we're going to do. So, add an inch there. Um, let's find another one. About an inch there. And that should be suffice. Hold that. All right. Now, this is why I bought the, uh, the corner punch to begin with, is this little trick right here. Um, but the actual corner punch has been a pain in my tush. It does not like punching the way that it's supposed to, or at least the way that I think that it should. Just line it up in the back and punch and there you go now you've got this cute little inner here that's upside down all right and then we're going to do this side So, like, yeah, like I said, that's the reason I bought the corner punch right there. So I can put little teardrops all over the place. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So let's put these down. Whee! And then put some glue in there. And line that up on the edge there. Okay. All right, just like that. And then this one, same thing. We're going to do this part first. All right. And copy that. Tap, 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 tap. And tap, 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 tap. And make sure it's going the right direction. Up on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Voila. And that's it. Alright, let's see. Do we have any of the stickers left that we want to use on the fronts of these? Um I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave them blank. All right. So we're done with this. And I still haven't decided if I want to put this on. I guess I could just put those away. Wait, I haven't decided if I want to put something on the spine other than that. Other than these. I think. 
because I keep looking at it because it's just sitting there like this right in front of me and I keep looking at it and I think I want to leave it actually um, so we're going to alternate these I got two with the wood paneling with the decoration and then two with the plain with the decoration so we're just going to alter them a little bit or alternate them a little bit so there's the first one And the second one. You can pull it out a little bit more if you want. And the third one. And the fourth one. And we did our fourth pocket. One back here, but I I think I kind of want to cut this because it's really snug. I'm just going to take like a super tiny sliver off of each side. Not enough to affect the border, I think, but enough to try to affect the, it goes in the pocket better. All right. Let's see. I think we're good with the bottom border but we'll just make it a little more even symmetrical okay that way the all-around border is more even okay and then let's see if you fit in there a little bit better yes you fit in there a lot better Ooh. instead of putting it on there, we could put it on here. Uh, yeah. Way better. Okay. Oh, and it's got a note section on the back, too. What? I am going to glue the whole thing down, though. That's cute. All right, I love these, I love these, I love these. So I'm pretty sure she has these clusters in Christmas. I just haven't got them yet because I haven't, I've really only done the, the semi-decorated and they were like super shabby pink Christmas and she, I think think unless she's got more stuff up there but I think hers is more like traditional Christmas or um, like old um, what's it called farmhouse Christmassy vintage Christmassy stuff like that which is really really cool and I do plan on doing stuff like that I just haven't done it yet <laughs> plans 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 oh wow that fits so much better now yes all right, so there's that. And I think we're gonna leave this. I really just wanna keep it simple. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave that just like that. And I've got something on my lace. What is that? I think it was a glue gobber thingy. That's what it looked like. Anyway, okay, so that's it, guys. This journal are I keep calling it a journal I'm so used to making journals now um, but this album is done guys so I'm gonna do a quick bonus video it's gonna do it's gonna be a complete flip through of my Thanksgiving photo album so thank you guys so much for joining me during this process it was a lot of fun I had a blast I hope you guys did too uh, I found a few more shops uh, that I didn't know about in this process so thank you guys so much and i will see you all in the next video bye guys